Hello StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another weekly edition of Mid-Rank Madness. This is a game between LK Dub and We Farm Rocks on Laralac Crest. If this is your first Mid-Rank Madness game, this is Gold, Platinum, and Diamond level. And this is apparently Diamond level, and let's get right on into it. In the bottom left side of the map, we have the Red Terran player. It is LK Dub, representing XMDX. I assume, like, Medical Doctor MD? I don't know, who knows, not me. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the Blue Protoss player. It is We Farm Rocks, which is an amazing name. Amazing name from the clan Chekum. I thought that was chicken at first, but then it's an M at the end, so it's Chekum. Because that's how English works. So PVT for our weekly mid-rank madness here. We actually had a lot of good mid-rank madness submissions this last week. So I might do one or two more of them this week in celebration. So those of you who have not been cast yet in mid-rank madness, do not worry. Do not fear. We may very well cast your game yet. So here comes the scouting SCV. Comes at the correct location immediately. Says, ah, here's my Protoss opponent. Here's my Protoss foe. Is there anything I should be worried about? No, not really. It's a one gate expand into an assimilator. Sees the timing on that perfectly. It's a very, very nicely timed expand here too from We Farm Rocks. Meanwhile, looks like a very standard one gate opener, a one Rax opener, possibly with a Reaper, but a pretty early command center on the high ground, surprisingly. I don't know why it's not down here, but guess what? High ground it is. He might be worried about some early stuff, but that Nexus should tell him to not worry anymore. We Farm Rocks is not getting any early pressure out whatsoever in the next couple of minutes anyway, so L-Dub or LK Dub. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to say. I'm gonna say Dub. Dub and We Farm, if I need to say the names quickly. Anyway, Dub should feel safe enough to throw down that command center onto the low ground as soon as humanly possible. Might want to make it an orbital command first, I suppose, which is his prerogative. SCV actually being kind of annoying, running around all over the place. There's nothing that We Farm Rocks can do about this at all until there's. Uh, is that another gateway? Is this a two gate opening? Where's. Oh, there it is! Cybernex core hanging way down here. And a second assimilator coming too. So the probe going to get right on in. This is not a full wall from Dub. And actually moving into a barracks. So not going to be a Reaper expand at all. Just going to get a couple Marines there. Maybe, uh, I mean, it could be a couple Reapers. We've seen that before, but I think. Hmm, so two racks, one with a tech lab, one with a reactor. Yeah, I think it's going to be a Marine Marauder timing push. Especially with this one gas here. No factory play at all yet from our Terran player. Looks like he's going to try to punish this this early, early Nexus from We Farm Rocks. SUV heading out again to continue scouting out what is happening here. And guess what? The answer is going to be Adepts. Adepts on the way. Now, these are nerfed Adepts, as we can see here. 22 damage versus light instead of 23, which means... Oh, the probe kills the SUV. It actually takes three shots to kill a Marine instead of two, which is actually super useful for Terran players. Really something that they needed... And that they're very happy with as well. So Marines on the top of the ramp, very brave because there's an Adept coming. I don't know if this many Marines can actually take her out, but we're going to give it a shot. Ready, go, one, two, oh, oh. As you can see here, the second shot would have not been enough to kill the Marine, taking him down to one hit point. <laughs> Instead of just killing him. And as we know, even at very low health, units can do full attacks. So a one point Marine is very useful indeed to the Terran player. Splitting his Marines up. I don't know why that's happening. Sending the wounded marine back and killing one of the marines. And another one, two. No, not quite able to do it there. Does he not know about the nerf? He might not know about it. He might have hoped to two shot those marines, but nope. In the end, look at this. These guys with one little hit point remaining. One little hit point. All the wounded ones are going back to the rehab center inside this, bar this bunker where they can hide out. Robotics facility just now finishing for We Farm Rocks. And guess what's going to be an observer? No, an immortal. What? And a robotics facility. Okay, so we might see Disruptor Immortal here coming out from the Protoss player, which is pretty good. Assuming you can make those no Purification Nova hits against your Terran opponent, that is a pretty good thing to do. There's your factory. There's your third barracks now mixing into maybe a more of a tank-heavy type composition. But tanks, again, not that great. Not that great against Immortals or Disruptors, actually, come to think of it. So... We Farm Rocks might be going the correct tech path to make this work, unless unless it's just Colossus. We have seen Colossus recently on the channel, although it wasn't Into the Void game, and so I don't know if that necessarily is reflected in this mid-rate madness level, especially considering it is Diamond. 
But nonetheless, going to try to get up here. Psionic Transfer Scout does see all of the Marines and not being chased, actually. No, lifting, lifting it up, though, and cancel, cancel. <gasps> he doesn't cancel. Oh, Adepts, why didn't you cancel? You're going to die. You might take out a couple units with you, but pretty good micro bringing the Marines from both sides. And two Adepts die immediately. One might manage to escape. Doop. And she does with one kill to her name. Just not, I mean, not that effective. I don't think it. 29 to 39 Harvesters. We Farm Rocks has been macroing like a boss behind this. And it is Disruptors coming out from a Protoss player. So, we haven't seen a Protoss go Disruptor against Terran recently. Again, the reason for that being that Terran players at higher levels anyway are pretty much used to splitting against Banelings, and they have been for years and years and years. So splitting against a Disruptor, it might even be easier, actually, than splitting against Banelings. So... We will have to see if LK Dub's Micro is up to this, or if We Farm Rocks is going to get those hits off those Disruptors that every Protoss player dreams about. Just has very romantic dreams about Purification Nova hits, I can tell you that. Not that I play Protoss, but uh, my Protoss friends have told me in confidence, I will not name names, but man, they love that so much. In research, we have Combat Shield, we have Concussive Shells, queuing up some Marauders, okay. I mean, queuing isn't... It's not a way to five, so it's not super terrible. Again, this is Diamond. This isn't Masters or Grandmasters. So we would expect to see some little things that denote what level this is at. It is 66 to 82 total supply. The Protoss player is up in total supply, which includes workers. Has some adepts patrolling back and forth just to make sure a drop doesn't come in and ruin his day. I like this play. I like it here. Seems maybe a little bit too many adepts, but adepts also make up most of this army. So again, I'm not sure that anybody... Uh, has told We Farm Rocks that there was a nerf to Adept recently because he is making Adept like there is no tomorrow. So Adept, single Immortal, couple Disruptors here. Does he want a second Robotics Facility or he's getting more Gateways? That's good. Twilight Council, a couple Forges for those upgrades that are so, so useful indeed, especially against Terran. And it's just Marine, Marauder, Medivac, one. Adept flies right on in and cancels. Cancels, cancels. Good job. All right, so there's the cancel. Did not die unnecessarily. Came back with the rest of the army. I don't think there's enough here, unless these Purification Novas are insane. And I have no reason to expect them to be. All right, here we go. Purification Novas. Oh, did he scout the Disruptors? I'm not sure if he saw them. Okay, here we go. Purification Nova 1. And do they get the Disruptor? No, they don't get it. Oh, they get the second one, though. Good job. Okay, so a bit of a mixed bag there. The one actually did hit. The other one did not. Is it enough? It's enough to make We Farm Rocks come right on up here with the Immortal, with the Adepts, and the SCVs are being forced to pull off the line here, too. The Immortal getting focused down, getting some shots off here, and standing right on in, trying to kill what they can, the Marines and the Marauders. Ooh, taking down the Immortal almost immediately there towards the end, and forcing a retreat from the rest of the Adepts. There used to be a time when this many Adepts could probably take out this many units, but not today. Not today. Any upgrades here yet? No, just the Forge just, just, just happened. Plus one attack is there for the Marauders and the Marines. Plus one infantry armor on the way here to that third Nexus. I did notice that out of the corner of my eye on the way for We Farm Rocks. LK Dub hanging out, third base of his own, ready to go. Not doing anything with it yet. Yet, I mean, again, a Masters, GM, professional level player would have this maybe saturated by now at the eight minute mark, but I guess losing a bunch of SCVs, losing concentration, the macro slipped a little bit, and now Protoss is up 41 to 26 Harvesters. Phoenix, hallucinated Phoenix rather, flying on in to scout what it can scout. Gonna see barracks and actually might catch a glimpse of these widow mines. Does see the widow mines if he was paying attention. That was good. That was a good scout. And here comes a four medevac drop trying to sneak on in here. There's nothing to defend. <gasps> There's nothing here for We Farm Rocks. He's making some adepts and some sentries here too, but how is he gonna. What? How? Yeah, I don't. Okay, that. Nope. Nope, I don't know why he made sentries. Goodbye, Ford. Goodbye, Pylon. Goodbye, everything. I don't know if We Farm Rocks can do this. He's going to lose the Cybernetics core. Boop. Getting rid of further te tech paths that our Protoss might want to make. Photon Overcharge being thrown out, but the Pylon dies immediately. Good focusing from LK Dub. Sentries dying on the front lines for reasons I don't quite understand. Another Pylon is dead there, too. Just standing on end, there is almost no mining at all going on from the space. Picking up and boosting out and not losing the medevac to photon overcharge. Doesn't lose the medevac. That was a huge stinking deal. Now landing here. All the probes have evacuated from the main are here as well. 
He drops some. Okay. Uh, yes. Splits up his army. We Farm Rocks does not do as a good a job of it. <gasps> Landing back down here. Oh, what a play, LK Dub. What a professional level play there. Splitting it up, killing more and more probes. Yes, lost all the Marauders down here, but forcing again a full retreat. Can I get this Nexus? Oh, with Stim. With Stim and with the Marauders with the plus one, plus one. And yes, does get the Nexus. Time to go. Time to go, LK Dub. Yes, time to go. Don't lose those Marauders, but the Medivac is so low on health. <gasps> Came back for him anyway with five hit points. With five hit points. Oh, that Medivac loves that Marauder. Loves him to pieces. Another big warp in, but it's a slow warp in because this pylon is not touching a Nexus or a Gateway. Look at that. 16 second warp in is so slow. Blah. Third base up there now. So let's take a look. 29 to 22 total harvesters. LK Dub is actually up now. I was going to say still up, but actually up after that probe massacre. So here we go. Both players just kind of hanging out right now. No, coming out for the attack once again. We form, farm rocks knows if you're going to make it into master's level, which is the goal here, you cannot sit back and just wait for your opponent to do something. You have to keep the pressure on. Marines, Marauders, Widow Mines, plus two, plus two on the way. Not anywhere near complete yet. Couple more disruptors. Templar Archives coming up too for We Farm Rocks. Possibly some storms. That would be good against this bio. I think that might be the intent as well. Recognizing really no tanks to speak of. No Thors. I mean, no Liberators. Nothing. There's the storm. Psionic Storm being researched immediately as soon as that Templar Archives finishes. Repair being used on that Medivac. Is that the one that had five hit points left? I bet it is. And he repairs it. Oh, what a conscientious player. And Overlord, LK Dub is. The Adepts don't do it, Adepts. Don't do it. They cancel. They cancel. So Disruptor up one and hit. And backing out with the second Disruptor. Oh, losing it though because it's in the front. Just, oh, Purification Nova. Bam. Oh, massive hit. Massive hit. Widow Mines do get some shots off there too. They get rid of the Observer. They might have. Zealots on the front lines absorbing a lot of damage here too. We Farm Rocks has this base completely under lockdown. How can LK Dub save this thing? I don't actually know. There is a bunker. There's a bunker, but it dies. And all the innocent side get completely massacred. Two SCVs trying to attack, trying to heal. Not going to happen whatsoever. This is completely, again, it is gone. We farm rocks with the victory on this base. No argument whatsoever. Three base, 90 to 164 total supply. And Widow Mines getting a couple more shots off. So two kills and three kills. They get another round. The command center lives to fight another day, which is a big deal for LK Dub. And does he have enough to defend this top ramp? I don't know if he does, but psychologically, it's so scary to go up that ramp. It's so scary for anybody, Protoss, Terran, or Zerg, to go up a ramp that is held by a Terran player. So trying to sneak on over here, well, okay, Dub is kind of cowering inside his main base. We farm rocks and a full liftoff there once again by that orbital command. So going to get rid of all these SCVs. They're not actually running, although there was nowhere to go. This is kind of a dead-end base. One SCV does survive. It actually does live here and nicking down these rocks. I don't know if that's the priority right now for reform rocks, but it appears to be so. So income tab right now, 15 to 30, and it's way in favor. Way in favor for minerals for reform rocks right now. So three base, a fourth base coming up too for the Protoss player. How I don't I don't know. I don't know how LK Dub can come back from this. I would be I mean, again, it's Terran, so right, if there's any base that could afford to lose that many workers and that many bases and still come back and win, it's going to be Terran. That's absolutely a possible outcome. This orbital command hanging on out. Observer replacement observer on the way. I believe oh, another one here, too, just in case that one dies. So it's a third, third observer, uh, a, a second backup, rather. Coming in to see these Widow Mines once again at the top of the ramp. Widow Mines are pretty much the defense that LK Dub has right now. Going to burrow them in particular locations. Just go kill it with Stalkers. Stalkers outrange these guys. Do it. There it is. Comes up with the Stalkers. And gets rid of one. And gets rid of two. Now can march up the ramp again for round number two here. Stalkers trying to get rid of this orbital command. Forcing it at least into a burning status. Can't quite do it. Another drop here from LK Dub though. <gasps> oh, does he see this? I Oh man, these guys. They are so brave. Oh, and they're boosting out. The Stalkers do vacate the premises, so they can be uh, sneaky on their approach. Widow Mines dying here. Once again, sneaking on over. Going to get rid of some units on the top. But here comes the drop. Here comes the drop with the Marines and the Marauders. Do they have plus two, plus two yet? They do have plus two, plus two. All right. So they're actually going to cancel that plus two attack there. Get rid of the uh, Zealot Legs upgrade. Going after some of these gateways or at least depowering them. 
initially. Robotics facility and a disruptor does not want to pop out now. It does not want to pop out now. Absolutely not. Oh, but it does. But it does anyway. It doesn't oh, actually see it. No, the disruptor. Is it allowed to escape? Purification Nova. Ooh, dodged. Dodged there again. Get out. Get run. Don't hold the line. Oh, getting rid of the disruptors, though. That was pretty good. And boosting out stalkers. Oh, yes. To pick off another medevac. But I think that one was empty. Pretty sure that one was empty. And they head back home. So... Alright, so it is officially four, well, I guess three bases. Did he never replace this Nexus? I don't think We Farm Rocks ever replaced this Nexus. I thought for sure he would. I mean, there's quite a bit of resources left here, but... Alright, alright, so where I said three base, it was actually two base, which might actually help LK Dub come back into this game. So it's 110 to 67 total supply. Sneaky sneaky ninja base in the top left of the map. It's an orbital command with enough energy for four mules. Ready, go. Mules, hi -ah. You too, how much energy? 100. Okay, so these guys are idle. I mean, I guess all of the APM is basically with these units, uh, these medevacs that are flying around too. Stalker count looking pretty scary too. But upgrades definitely favoring our, favoring our Terran player. That he was able to snipe off those forges is a pretty darn big deal. He now has units down here in the bottom left to prevent a similar drop, but how does he know? So he knows about this base. Is he trying to... Yeah, oh man, this base is entirely def undefended. He could kill that if he wanted to, but instead, he's going to come down and land on this base, which is also entirely undefended, except for a s couple cannons at the front, which isn't... No, well, three cannons at the front, actually. Not good at all. Going to lose this Nexus. Is the LK Dub going to come back and win this thing? Yeah, it does get the Nexus. Pick up, run. Pick up, run. Nothing left here for you. No reason for you to be here. Run. And, oh, the Marines didn't get back inside. How do they not get back inside? There isn't there were enough seats. There's some of these medevacs are completely empty. Boosting on down here again. The drop play from LK Dub keeping him in this thing. We've seen players do this before at all levels, especially at the professional level, though, where these drops just absolutely whittling down your opponent. Even when you're dead in the water, another Nexus dies. Pick up run. Pick up run. Pick up run. Don't leave units behind. Don't do it. No! Marauder last stand. Tries to get in there and oh, explodes with blood gushing at the same time. Marauders explode and bleed. How weird is that? Okay, so a couple zealots now defending this base. Coming up, long distance mining. I don't think he knew this base was here until he accidentally flew across it on his way home. That's insane. That's insane. So, I, I mean, do you want to land? I mean, land in a place where the zealots can't immediately kill you. There it is. Landing. The zealots die immediately. Upgrades again really, really good right now. For LK Dub and taking out yet another Nexus. Can he get it? If he focuses it, he can. And he does focus it. And there it is. Run. Get out. Don't leave anybody behind this time. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, LK Dub. Okay. Okay. Manages to get everybody out of there. These empty medevacs are hanging out, though. So that's a bit of a problem here. So are there actually no Nexuses for We Farm Rocks? No. That was on the way. But nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. I'd like to say that LK Dub has been macroing up behind this and he'd sent all these SCVs up to this base to actually mine it, but he hasn't. He absolutely has not been doing that. All of his APM has 100% been focused on these medevacs and been doing nothing back home, but I guess producing units, which is good, but he really needs to be macroing. Okay, look. All these guys are idle. Every single SCV on this page is idle. Okay, except for this one. I apologize for maligning you, Mr. SCV. Go ahead and smoke your cigarette. And you can think poorly of me if you want to. There we go. SCVs go. No, no, no. So close. So close to heading up to that base. And now they're trying to force their way through these Marines and Marauders. No, they're repairing. They're repairing is what they're doing. I don't, I don't know about this decision from LK Dub. He did an amazing job. An amazing job. Oh, is he holding these here? Oh my gosh. I think he's holding these here knowing... I don't know if he knows the observers there, but maybe he's doing this because he knows it makes We Farm Rocks afraid of further drops. Because We Farm Rocks can do nothing about further drops. There's Double Stargate. That should help immensely. And forcing a big warping of units there because of empty medevacs. The mind games, ladies and gentlemen. The mind games are huge. They are huge. Alrighty then. So this base is finally getting muled up. There's still enough for another mule here. As all the mules expire, only three SCVs. Where are the rest of your SCVs? There they are. LK Dub, you're in diamond. Get to work. Get to work. The army is completely distracted by these medevacs, and coming into the main base is LK Dub. Oh, what a surprise play 
We farm rocks is like, what? The drop was up there. How am I losing? Oh, boy. I was tricked. I was absolutely tricked. This is so many production facilities for We Farm Rocks right now. Gateways, robotics facilities, pylons, robotics bay. There's a photon overcharge. I don't know how much it actually matters here. Can you get rid of these gateways? That'd be a big deal. A pylon dies. Is it enough to supply block our Protoss player? No, not quite yet. Don't go down that ramp. Don't go down that ramp. Get up. Run. Oh, no. It does catch a couple marauders. Ah, as he boosts on out of there again. So, what is... I mean, he has a couple gateways. Or stargates, rather. A Templar Archives, too. LK Dub is up to four total workers at this base. These guys still hanging out. Doing absolutely nothing. LK Dub, I promise you this. If you can figure out how to make all of your SCVs work, while you can do your drop play, you will make it to Masters. I'm going to say that. That's my promise for you today. <laughs> because this is killing me. Come on, man. Come on. Go. Get north. All right. All right. That's fine. So let's see what We Farm Rocks is going to do to try to deal with these drops. He has two Stargates and absolutely zero. Oh, wait. Wait. He heard me. There we go. So a couple Phoenix. Excellent. A couple Phoenix is enough to slowly whittle down this medevac count. At least catching them on their way over is also nice. And is that... Oh my gosh, it's SCVs. And the SCVs are heading north to actually go to work. Oh, they left. As soon as I stopped paying attention, they left. What a play indeed. So I... I feel like LK Dub has done a good job getting back into this game. He had no business getting back into. But in the end, this army is pretty darn big and scary. Big and scary. It is 124 to 110 total supply. That base is now up and running for We Farm Rocks. This base up and running for We Farm Rocks. So it's essentially two bases to one base right now at the 21 minute mark. And I think further scouting would definitely benefit We Farm Rocks. He doesn't know anything that is going on anywhere on the map. He has an, a zealot here. He has an observer here, but everything this side and over, a complete mystery. He sh oh, here comes another drop. <laughs> Another Nexus falls! Another couple pylons fall! All these probes are going to die. They thought they could hide in the corner. They could not. They could not die. Or hide in the corner. Kabloop, kabloop. And goodbye. Simulator 2K. Run, pick up, run. Head south. The army's going to come way too late. I don't even know why We Farm Rocks is coming up here. There's nothing to defend. There's really not. The Phoenix come on over. They try to get rid of some of these medevacs. Dropping. I don't know why you dropped here. I really don't. All right, so the Phoenix trying to avoid getting killed by these Marines and getting trapped into a bit of a corner. Into a bit of a corner here, and there we go. Big attack from both sides, picking up, boosting out, running somewhere, losing a full medevac, and losing an empty medevac too, killing more and more probes. I really wish I could tell you how many probes have died so far in this game because it's been a lot, but I can tell you We Farm Rocks is down to eight. Eight total probes available. Another Nexus going to go down, possibly. Oh, cannons! Getting rid of Marines, getting rid of Marauders, but no, the Nexus does end up falling. Purification Nova, big hit! So many Marauders dying, their corpses falling down below. And I think the dropping days for our friend LK Dub may be over. Maybe over. I'm gonna drop here and try to kill some stuff, but it is futile. Everything here is gonna die. We Farm Rocks, though, has been revealed. So that's pretty interesting, actually. It's 88 to 93 total supply. We Farm Rocks is supply blocked pretty significantly. It's now 94 to 93 total supply. LK Dub is up, ladies and gentlemen, is up in supply count. Has 18 workers to 7 for his opponent, and here comes the army. We Farm Rocks says, all right, enough is enough. I'm going to kill this player. There's just so much bio at the top of this ramp. If he'd been using these guys instead of just having them sit there for the last five minutes, I feel like he could have won this game already. Here comes some Phoenix flying around just for some scouting, for some reconnaissance. And again, does he know about this base? No, he doesn't know about this or this. He knows about this. That's good. That's a good check. I like that. He checked this one too. Check this. He's Why do you think there's nothing going on up there? Why do you think you have your opponent trapped inside of a single base? Look at this huge army. Could he make this huge army if he was stuck on one base? No purification. No buzz. Oh, big hits. Big hits. Oh, look at all those dead Marines and Marauders. Whoa. How many kills? 19 kills on that Disruptor. 
<gasps> oh, they're blink stalkers now too. That's very useful indeed. Coming into this base, which she has completely ravaged. The main base is gone here. Trapped on the high ground. D don't go down the ramp. Don't you go down that ramp. You stay up here. Stay. Good. Good. Get rid of the disruptors. Nice. Disruptor 1 dies. Disruptor 2 is not being focused down. Enough Marines and Marauders to actually do this thing. Purification Nova comes up and actually kills some of his own units because friendly fire is a part of it. Blinking forward though are the Stalkers and the Zealots and the Adepts and the Immortals. Is it enough to do this? Yes. Picks up. Boosts out. LK Dub does not like the terms of that engagement and heads on out once again. This has been insane. The Phoenix getting rid of a medevac. That is exactly what they are intended to do here. Stalker is taking out a single Marine. Marines and Marauders taking out a Stalker and an Adept and a Zealot. Pretty, pretty good stutter step micro here from LK Dub actually staying alive while delaying as much as he possibly can using that concussive shell slow ability. But slowly getting caught up to in. I like how Marauders, when they die to Zealots, they stand there for a second and then they fall apart. Another base here for LK Dub. Does he have another army? He does have another army. Is he still making medevacs, though? That's a problem. Yes. He does have three medevacs here. <laughs> Holy smokes. 25 minutes into this game. LK Dub up 66 to 45. Total supply. Disruptor, I think, is going to be make or break here for We Farm Rocks. We Farm Rocks has a lot of money. He should probably be expanding about two or three times right now. But instead is making probes. And not much else to this point. So here it is. Is this going to be our final engagement? Purification Nova does catch a couple Marines. Wow, throws their bodies way over to the ramp. That was some fun animation. Oh, stimming, stimming, chasing, chasing, stimming, chasing, stimming. Time warp being used. And it does catch a lot of these units. That's an actually effective use of time warp. He doesn't want to overstim, and he doesn't want to walk into a Purification Nova. So he just backs on out. Backs on out, picks up for a yet another drop. LK Dub, live by the drop, die by the drop. And is there enough room for these Marauders? There's enough room. Yep. Nope. Uh, except for one. One lonely Marauder who we'll name, we'll name Maurice. We're going to see how Maurice does throughout this game. He is meeting up with some friends. Oh, he's going to get picked up? Nope. No, he's not. All right, so watch that guy. He is, ah, oh, plus three attack. Now he does get picked up by the Medivac. Excellent work indeed by Maurice. This base for Reform Rocks is up. He's making another base here too. Small attack. The Phoenix have not died yet, which is excellent. Have they scouted this? Oh my god. How have the Phoenix not scouted this base? How? Is that even possible? I don't know. And another attack here. Ooh, ooh, does catch them both. Well played there by LK Dub. Nicely done indeed. The Phoenix are gone. Replacement robotics facility here. Whoa, sorry about that. Marching down the ramp. The purification Nova is not here. Disruptor is not here. There it is, Nova. Ooh, did it get hit off? I can't even tell, but it doesn't matter. Everything is dying here. This base is gone, too. We farm rocks is down to 24. Total supply to 83 for LK Dub. Another Nexus falls. The drops, says We Farm Rocks. Good job. Oh, look at him go. Good manner. Good job. Good game. And We Farm Rocks is defeated. LK Dub is victorious, and We Farm Rocks has left the game. Yeah. Again. Again. I don't know how many times we have to learn this lesson, but LK Dub was down to a single base. Single base. Had lost this one. Had lost this one. Had lost so many workers, too. And came back and won with the power of drops. I would have loved to see We Farm Rocks do something against those drops a little bit earlier. Maybe getting, getting just cannons. I mean, there are a lot of minerals floating around there for a while for We Farm Rocks. Just getting, like, three cannons behind each mineral line. Would have been immensely, immensely useful. I did love that he got some Phoenix, but again, a little bit too late, I think, in my estimation. And allowed the drop play to work. Upgrades, huge, huge player in this game, too. I don't think... Can I see here? No, I don't think those Forges were ever remade. So I think in the end there, We Farm Rocks had plus one attack, and that was it. He had no armor whatsoever, which is not great when you're looking at plus three attack Punisher grenades from Marauders, so... Well played here from our friend LK Dub. Came back from the dead, as Terran does sometimes. And We Farm Rocks just wasn't up to the challenge. So, that's it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for joining me. And you take care of yourself.